Our hashtag is new disc. But now let's go straight to stories making headlines. Now, the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops has called on the government to come up with strategies to cushion Kenyans against the high cost of living, warning that the current taxation regime is punitive to most Kenyans, worsening an already bad situation. They have urged the government to undertake wider consultations, adding that greater commitment to subsidization of agricultural production, waiver of certain licenses can relieve many Kenyans of the heavy burden. The bishops who spoke in Nakuru have also called on the government to act on runaway corruption in its institutions while decrying high rates of corruption and demand for favors for employment in public offices. We are reiterating many times our great concern about the rising cost of living. We continue to witness the rise of cost of fuel, the cost of basic commodities, and added demands from the care of the family in school fees and health care. We are particularly concerned that the people who are affected most by this situation are those in lower income bracket and especially the poor and the, 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 and the miserable. This has created an added suffering to the people of already strained by recent COVID-19 pandemic and drought effects. The high cost of living has deeply affected the shaken and social fabric of Kenyan society. It is especially strain, uh, strangling the very poor in their modest needs. Families are under immense stress as they struggle to make ends meet, leading to strained relationships and increased tensions within the households. Parents find it challenging to provide for their children education, health care, and overall well-being. This situation is perpetuated as perpetuating a cycle of poverty, limiting opportunities for personal and social growth. We have appealed to the government on several occasions to reconsider the issue of overtaxation of the Kenyans, and especially to incomes of those in the lower income bracket. This one factor has greatly affected the family income in a disproportionate way, leading to anger among Kenyans. Many traders and businesses are now faced with the option of closure or laying off employees due to the immense drain to their resources and added tax burdens. Further, there seems to be a lack of sensitivity in the way the business persons and individuals are being harassed by the KRA officials in view of collecting more taxes. This has also affected people's morale and sense of hope in a better future. We appeal yet again to the government to find reasonable balance between the desired income for the government and the minimum protection of the basic needs of the very ordinary Kenyan and respect to their dignity. Our true patriotism and true leadership as government, churches, all faiths can only be measured in the care we have for the most